the big beetle nook, the birthplace of cat cafes, and any temple lover's best friend. This is Taipei. And today, I'm gonna show you the two biggest reasons that I fell in love with, and I believe you should fall in love with Taipei. Yeah, it's got awesome night markets, mountains, architecture, and museums. But Taipei stole my heart with its temples and its cat cafes. Which brings us to today's challenge. Visit as many temples and cat cafes as you can. And we're kicking it off here at the heart of Taipei, the city's most iconic place of worship, Longshan Temple. Through thick and thin since its founding in 1738, Longshan Temple has always been a pivotal religious, cultural, and architectural center of the city. Just the way the golden lighting and temple ornamentation glimmers in the Taipei evening light and being surrounded by so many devout religious Taiwan locals. It puts me deep in my comfort zone. Temple number two, Tianhou Temple, evokes that very same sensation. Wedged in a cluster of time-worn buildings on a busy Taipei city road is the magical portal known as Tianhou Temple, complete with lions, elephants, fishes, and birds. Tianhou Temple emulates a very common theme on our tour, a serene retreat in the active nexus of the city. And I arrived right in time for my favorite, some good old temple chanting. Feeling blessed and spiritually rejuvenated, it's time to venture out into the world of cat cafes. But first, let me enlighten you about the two distinct types of cat cafes. On one end of the spectrum, we have what I like to call cafes with a cat, which are simply cafes that advertise as cat cafes, but in reality only have a single cat or two, maybe even none at all. On the other hand, we have cat playhouses, which are purely about the cat experience. And in all of Taipei, there's perhaps no better cat playhouse than Fufu Cafe. Although the commercialization of this place first turned me off, I was eventually won over by the cat mania that is Fufu Cafe. There's cats to your left, cats to your right, cats above you, below you, lap cats, fat cats, naked cats, even cat lollipops. It's a perfect day at Fufu Cafe. Cat Cafe number four, Kitten Coffee Garden, is another essential cat playhouse here in Taipei. Owned and operated for 25 years, Kitten Coffee Garden is the oldest cat cafe still in existence. And it's no wonder why they feature the friendliest furry companions in the city. Cat Cafe number six, Taipei's Milk Bar with, yes, they've got milk, but more importantly, they have this little bundle of fur. He's so cute, I bet he could cure any lactose intolerance. Temple number three, Guting Difu Yingong Temple. You gotta know that Taipei temples come in all different shapes and sizes. At the corner of a busy road and narrow alley, Guting Difu Yingong Temple definitely comes in the box-sized variety. Temple number 12, my favorite Taipei temple is Fachu Kung Temple, a true glitch in the matrix. Imagine you're walking downtown Taipei, and you turn down an alley, and behold, the glorious Fachu Kung. The minute I laid eyes on that slender little five-story sanctuary tucked behind the urban jungle, I knew I ain't in the matrix no more. Brother, I'm woke. Fachu Kung, that's the most real hunk of brick and metal I've seen in my life. Cat Cafe number seven, Appointment Cat Cafe. Well, let's just say I walked in without an appointment and they very quickly showed me to the door. Not my sharpest moment, but how about Cat Cafe number eight, Mask Cat Cafe. I didn't see any masks, but this place has got cat memorabilia up the wazoo, even in the bathroom. Cat Cafe number 13, don't cry. You better not enter that gate without a reservation unless you want a good barking from the wait staff or this little guy. 
But once you're in, there's no reason to shed tears because now it's all about grazing good grub and reveling in fluffy cuteness. Temple number 16, just reaching the front gate of Ching Shui Temple takes you through a tapestry of local flavors. It's located right next to a crowded food stall, nestled at the end of a quaint neighborhood alley. But once you arrive, you, my friend, have attained nirvana. Cat Cafe number 14, about H coffee. It has a modern, cozy atmosphere where one can grab your daily espresso, open your laptop, and watch the hours fly by. But keep your eyes peeled for those two princesses running the show. And by running the show, I don't mean they're brewing the coffee. Temple number 21, at first glance, Bangka Qingshan Temple may resemble any other Taipei temple as you enter. But take a stroll around back and you'll find yourself in the city's most heavenly little oasis. A dimension of pure harmony, untouched by any malevolent spirits. How can I be so sure? Because I promise you, no demon wants to mess with these guys. Cat Cafe number 17, Double Like is the kind of restaurant where your experience depends entirely on the quality of your server. I myself had an excellent experience and savored a tasty bolognese. However, I can confirm that some of the wait staff members are just downright lazy. I found this dude just sleeping on the kitchen floor. Temple number 23, Jingfu Temple, like most of the temples we visited so far hits you smack dab in the face as you're navigating the city streets. But once you enter Jingfu, you'll discover a treasure trove of intricate carvings and sculptures. Each detail from floor to ceiling so captivating. I could easily spend the whole night here deciphering all its artworks. Cat Cafe number 18, when you step into Cat Art Home, it's as if you've entered a friend's cozy abode infused with feline charm, each corner resonating with purrs and meows. What else can I say? I'm just enamored by the cat atmosphere of this place. Temple number 24, Sishian Temple boasts the most unlikely location of any temple we've encountered in Taipei. Located in the heart of Sherlin Night Market, Sishian Temple stands as an architectural embodiment of yin and yang, a peaceful refuge surrounded by the chaos of one of Taipei's most famous night markets. Taipei is a fabulous city with an abundance of experiences awaiting you. This video merely scratches the surface. But first, let me ask you, why do you travel? If you're like me, maybe it's because you enjoy the thrill of visiting as many different locations as you can. But my guess is that you like to travel because when it's your vacation time, you just want to escape and relax. And while on the surface, cat cafes and temples seem like entirely different realms on this earth, they, at the core, are the same. Light your incense, do a little meditation. Sip on your coffee, stroke a little ball of fur. So come and enjoy Taipei, not by scaling all 101 stories of the Taipei 101, but by settling in at your nearest temple or cat cafe, sitting back and watching as the day passes you by. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, and I'll see y'all for the next episode.